Hey guys, there's a changing of the tide here at Brackett's Landing Beach. As you can see, the tide is normal now, but earlier today around noon, people were able to venture out about 100 yards out onto the beach and check out what's beneath the sea. Okay, so this is one of our lowest tides of the year here in Edmonds. A sea of curiosity washed upon the shores of Brackett's Landing Beach. Whoa! Oh, look at the sea star. So cool. As many take a voyage to places they don't normally see. It's rare. You normally can't get underneath here like yeah. this. Like underneath this ferry dock. It's like kind of similar to a sea sponge. Uh, These are the lowest tides the Puget Sound area has experienced since 2009. Our baseline is at zero, so that's kind of what the baseline of a low tide would be. And we're at negative 4.2 today, so that is a lot lower than our baseline of the average low tide we might see. We found the jellyfish! Brianna Bielstad, a beach ranger with the city of Edmonds, says the low tides are due to the lunar nodal cycle. That's essentially the moon wobbling its axis, aligning more closely to the Earth's equator, creating a stronger gravitational pull. I have never seen the tide out this low. The same goes for many others. Oh, it's a crab. And discovering what's truly under the sea isn't just fun for those who are young. You should see how big these are. They're huge. These anemones hanging off that pipe or whatever that is. Ever since I was a little girl, I was going to be a marine biologist. So for me, it is just so fun coming out here. And I love yeah. seeing everything. And I love sharing that with my kids. And if you couldn't hit the beaches today, that's okay. Experts say tomorrow from 10 until 2 is another great time to experience these historically low tides. For now, live in Edmonds, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.